Hello and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Dan. Today we are doing another breakfast special. We're going to have a poached egg on a lovely bit of toast. So for this you will need some eggs as normal. These are from the chickens in the garden. The lovely flora butter. Oh, Tesco finest bread. Jeez, we're going all out today. And a pan or pot, whatever thing you need for the eggs. So let's get cooking. First up, you'll need to fill your pan up with water. Uh, doing this with one hand with this and the camera is not easy. So I'm gonna do some magic here. <laughs> oh, that was hard. Now what I normally do is, I normally fill a bit up and then uh, put it on the hob and then fill it up with the kettle so that it doesn't take so long for it to boil. So we'll just do that and then we'll stick the kettle on and then fill it up with water. So the kettle is boiled. Oh jeez, steam. Right, let's pull that in there nicely. I said that'll speed up the process of having to wait for the bloody water to boil, but yeah, that's that bit done. Right, now at this point, like the experts, I'd put a bit of white wine vinegar in here. Now that helps the egg bind together so that it doesn't go all weird when you drop the egg in. But I haven't got any, so I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm just going to leave it plain because, you know, it's not it's not a big problem, but what we're going to do here is stir in the water so that when you put it in the middle of this mini whirlpool, that also helps it bind as well. So, we're going to stir that a bit. As you can see, the water is spinning around. Crack the egg on the side. Egg in. Ow, my hands are burning. Oh, yes. That is, that's not bad, not bad. I'll have a little, have a little look at that. Can't really see much, but oh, there you go. You can see it now floating up. Oh, what camera? And because I'm, because we need the protein, and we need the gains. I'm gonna have another one. So unlucky uh, to the rest of the people in my house because <laughs> got no eggs left now. <laughs> Get done. All right, so we're gonna, uh, we're not gonna stir this one because it would just ruin it. But yeah. Uh, plop that in there, nice bit of free range egg, and now on to the toast. Toast is simple, as you know, we've got our Tesco finest loaf here, two slices, plop those in, plop down, and we'll leave it for however long it needs to be in there for. When it pops up, I'll be back. Now just got to keep an eye on the eggs just to make sure that they don't um, overcook because we want that nice, we want a nice runny yolk in the middle for the toast. Because you know, dip, dip a bit of toast in it, nice bit of egg yolk is lovely. Those of you that don't like different parts of the egg such as I don't like the whites or I don't like the yolk, just just grow up, you know, it's just, it's just a bit of egg, it's all lovely. But yeah, talk about being fussy, you know, vegans and that, bloody hell. Yeah, oh yeah, if you're vegan and you're watching this, um, I love vegans, but I don't, I don't like that they like eating vegetables. Pointless really, it doesn't do very much for you, even though the scientists say it does, well, it doesn't. It doesn't do any better for the planet, because you just... You're just using more tractors to dig up more potatoes and it's no good, is it? But that's my little rant over. Uh, yeah. I think it should be time to get them out soon. So I've got my special spoon with holes in it. We'll call it the collar spoon because it's like a colander but a spoon. This will help drain the water. We'll turn that down actually. This will help drain the water from the egg so it doesn't get on your plate. But we're just going to pop it there. And then when the toast is done, we'll pop it on there. So... Hang on, I'll use the smaller spoon just to uh, dig around because I can't actually see it. Oh, there we go. Now I'll plop that on there. That will drain the water off, as you can see. And then we'll just 
slide that onto there, and then we'll get the second one. Pop that onto there, just to get the water. Oh, did you hear that? That was the toast. Oh God, it's bobbing on the other side. Right, and then we'll put that. Slide that onto there. Turn that off. Uh, we'll put this in the sink. Toast is done. I know you can't see me, but I'm just getting it. Toast is done, as you can see. Now we'll move, we'll move this, we'll move this over here into our little workstation. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Right, so we'll put the eggs on there. And then um, a bit of butter. Love a bit of butter on toast. And then we'll spread that on. Like a so, lovely bit spread. Right, triangles, rectangles. Let's go for triangles since you all love them so much. Oh, yeah, look at that. And then we'll oh, pop that on the side like so. Excuse my hands. Just gonna, oh, it feels good, it feels firm. That's what we want. We want a little, nice and bit, bit firm on the outside and on the inside. We want it nice and runny. So here is the moment of truth. I've got my knife. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it open. And if, it, if this has gone right, you will see the golden, the golden goodness. A big ray of sunshine will come out of it. Here we go. Oh. Oh, I don't know if you can see that from there. That. There is no bogeys or any of it. That is perfect. Look at that. There's a bit of hard bit of yolk and it's just runny. Let's see number two. Let's see number two. Oh, there's my finger. Ah, I've got yolk on my finger. I don't want to touch my thing. Right, here we go. Cut that open. Oh, we have done an absolute... Oh, oh. Oh, it's beautiful. Do you know what? I might even do a food review on this because it's, it's done so perfectly. But uh, yeah, if you want to see that, leave a like, leave a comment, all the good stuff, and I'll see you there. Goodbye.